All right, guys, we have uh, Niagara head coach Greg Paulus, sophomore Marcus Hammond, and sophomore Raheem Solomon. Uh, we're going to start off, Coach Paulus will give an opening statement, uh, and then we'll move on for questions for the student athletes, and we'll let them go. You guys can wrap up with Coach. What, what a basketball game. Uh, it's a great first day here at the MAC, and just really proud of my guys for uh, finding a way to, to continue to fight and believe and um, the way how, how hard we played and how connected we were. Um, just made enough winning plays, and, and uh, just really proud of our guys. Questions for the student athletes? Marcus, you seemed pretty cool there at the end when you were just holding the ball, dribbling, watching the clock drain down. Can you take me through that last series? Yeah, I know. Um, I just wanted to, coach told us to wait till, you know, six seconds, you know, so they wouldn't get a lot of time if, if we didn't miss to get a shot off. So when I was um, thinking about it, you know, last shot I had uh, settled and took a, a shot of air ball. So this time I wanted to, you know, drive the ball, get in the lane, try to get an easier shot. Then when three people collapsed on me, I seen Raheem. <laughs> Were you expecting him to dish that? Uh, nah. Uh, nah. I was just supposedly in the right spot at the right time. So when he, I, we, we made contact. So when we made contact, I knew he had the uh, opportunity to pass to me. He dished it off. He had the game winning shot. Can you guys both sort of explain the way that you've come together and developed this season? It's a really young team, and you've had some ups and downs, but this was a pretty big win. Yeah, you know, that's what um, game experience is for, you know, and uh, all those practices, you know, played 30 some games. So, you know, staying together as a team, getting better, staying locked in, you know, through the ups and downs, you know, just staying together and keep fighting. That's that's the big thing, keep fighting. What's it been like this season playing for Coach Paulus, both of you guys? It was a very exciting season, a lot better than last year, so. We did. Um, we were. We was able to work on defense a, lot, a way more better than we did last year, which, which you was able to see this today, during the game. And and I'm gonna jump in here if that's okay. Sure. Um, yeah. it's okay. It just just our guys uh, have done a tremendous job all year in terms of buying in to what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a foundation. We're trying to create a culture, and our guys from the very first day have been two feet in, and, and as a result, they've seen tremendous individual growth, team growth, and our program has taken steps forward. And uh, it's been fun to watch our belief, our growth, our, our uh, ability to be connected as a group, and um, as a result of it, uh, some really good things have happened. And that's, that's a credit to these guys in our, in our group. Any more questions for the student athletes? Right behind you. This is for either Raheem or for Marcus. Can you guys talk a little bit about Shannon Brown? I mean, that guy did a little bit of everything tonight. I mean, he led you guys in rebounding. He led you guys in assists. Just talk about what he means to you guys in this team. Yeah, you know, he's a he's a big part to the team. You know, he's a, a glue guy. You know, he may not do all the, the fancy stuff and everything, but, you know, he just gives his heart out every game. You know, he just fights for us, plays hard on the defensive end, and when he gets his opportunities on the offensive end, he makes it, you know, capitalize. He just finds everybody. You know, he keeps us together. He's a he's a big leader on our team. How did you guys manage to remain poised in a game that featured 21 lead changes and 11 ties? Uh, just practice. I mean, we, every day in practice, we have situations like that, so we executed tonight. Yeah, just yeah. What he said, but you know. From from last year, you know, feeling that pain, uh, you know, losing, going out in the first round, you know, I didn't want to feel that again, you know. So I needed to get this win. We all needed to get this win, and it felt really good. Good. All right, guys. Thank you, Coach. You can just stay for a couple of questions. You've got a lot of young guys on this team. What does a win like this mean for the development of this program? It's, um, 
it, it's a result of the hard work that our guys have done. Um, we've continued to believe, we've continued to grow and get better, and our, our whole focus this whole year is let's be better today than we were yesterday, let's be better tomorrow than we were today. And we've talked about that. They're, they hear it every single day, multiple times. And uh, the ability just to kind of block it out and, and, and focus in. And for us, Marist, uh, you know, was 2-0 and against us in the regular season. They're so well coached. Uh, they're big and physical. They shoot the three well. And so for us to uh, execute the game plan and uh, just continue to fly around, make plays, 21 lead changes is a heck of a game. <laughs> and uh, it's one of the, it was one of those games as a coach that you're sitting there and in the middle of the game, you're like, this is a heck of a basketball game. And um, we were fortunate enough to make one more play down the stretch. And uh, Marcus made a, a tremendous pass. Not many guys make the right pass or the right play down the stretch there, but tremendous poise. And then uh, Raheem, unbelievable shot fake, played off at two feet, power finish. And then we were fortunate that they didn't make the shot at the end. But uh, so many guys contributed. You asked the question about Shandon. Um, and, and we value all the different strengths and positive things that guys do to our team. And that could be energy, screening, assisted turnover ratio, keeping balls alive. Um, all of those things make a team. And uh, we, we, we place a high, high level of importance on those things. Greg, to follow that up on building the culture here and starting something in year one, did you imagine when you took the job two weeks before the season started that five months later you'd be in the quarterfinals of a conference tournament winning a game like this? At, at that time, I wasn't thinking about that. Um, when the opportunity came, and which I'm so grateful for, um, the, the first thing that I, that I focused in on was our players and, and spending the time with them, uh, making sure that uh, they knew that we were going to support them, believe in them, uh, continue to push them and challenge them to get them better. And um, at that point, that's to, to think five months down the road, it, it was day by day. And um, that, that's where our mindset was. And that's, that's where it's been. And it's just like tomorrow, hey, we're going to figure out a game plan and we'll figure out how to get ready for, you know, I think it's a rider, you know. Um, so we'll, we'll keep that day to day approach. And, um, but our mindset at the time was just uh, our players and, and connecting with them and having the relationships with them because that's the foundation of our program. Coach, you were, you were an ultra competitor as a player. It shows how much you want to win when you're on the sideline. And it seems like, no, but it's a good thing, though. It's a good thing. Are you saying that because I was out of my box a couple times? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it's something that, you know, people who have played the game appreciate. And I think it's, as the season progressed, your team is more and more taking on your character, the competitive attitude, the mentality to stay in the game. Is there a level of gratitude for you that this team has gotten to where it is and it seems like a lot of that full season has built up to the win tonight well I, I think the the tournament march um, whether I played in it or coached in it the lessons you learned throughout the season hopefully you have an opportunity to carry those over and apply them and I thought that some of the things that um, maybe we didn't do or we were still learning throughout the year we were able to um, understand them maybe a little bit better uh, executed a little bit higher and um, as a result we're, we're fortunate today but um, for us I, I, I want us to be a team that plays uh, connected on both ends of the floor I want us to be a team that it's it's about more than one person um, I want us to be a team that when you turn on the television or you come to a game that you're proud of how hard we play and how together we are because that's that's what Niagara University is and that's how the program's been built. And that's something that um, our guys are learning, and we're, we're in the early stages of, of creating that. Um, it's only been a few months, but we've certainly gotten better at that over the season. Do you think dropping the last two games of the regular season had any bearing on these guys' mindset coming into this today? No. I, I um, you know, playing at Siena, a very difficult team that's playing really well right now when Canisius uh, did a really good job uh, to finish off that game at their place. Um, the one thing we talked about after the Canisius game, and I wrote it on the board, was, hey, we're 0-0. Zero and zero. Everybody in the conference is 0-0. Zero and zero. So it doesn't matter if you're the first seed or the 11th seed. 
We'll figure out who we're playing. Let's get ready. We have a couple days. So for us, uh, the, the mindset zero and zero, we got to have that again tomorrow. And I'm going to reiterate that to our guys again tomorrow because that's, that's the reality. It's zero, zero. You got to try to find a way, do whatever it takes uh, in order to give yourself another day to, to coach this team, for this team to be together, um, to hopefully try to create another moment. And that's something that we, we're going to reiterate tomorrow during our team meetings. You uh, split split the games against Ryder this season. Just, I know you're just coming off of this one, but off the top of your head, I mean, what type of challenge do they present? And yeah, they're, they're, they uh, they present a lot of a lot of challenges. They they terrific throwing the ball inside. They have great size and physicality. They can push the ball. Uh, they score it easy in transition. They can get the ball to the paint off the bounce. So. Uh, we're, we're, they're a very difficult team to guard. I know they, I think I saw that some couple all league guys uh, that they have and, and very talented players. And um, so, you know, we're, we're going to have a lot of work in, in terms of our preparation to try to try to give ourselves the best chance to compete.